For 100 years, three generations of Bruce van der Poojies have painstakingly amassed the world's largest collection of 20th century Ghanaian photographs under one roof. They believe their Dio Gracias photo studio is the oldest in West Africa. The family's 50,000 image archive offers a unique glimpse into Accra's transition from a colonial port into a bustling modern metropolis. Tema Chloe took over Dio Gracias when her father, Isaac Bruce van der Poojie, a lifelong photographer who inherited the studio from his father, J.K., began to lose his eyesight. The story they tell is about the history. Those days, the early days from when the slaves were taken out, we have the, the, the forts, we have pictures of the forts, we have pictures of the politicians, we have pictures of um, um, traditions, all of that really. So there's so much to tell, even the buildings. From glass plates to digital files of nation shipping events, to intimate personal portrait. Virtually unchanged since opening in 1922, Dio Gracias sits on a busy street in the heart of Jamestown, the capital's oldest district. Grainy archive photos reveal the area was once much quieter before traffic and billboards clogged the street. A black and white photo of Kwame Nkrumah, Ghana's first leader on gaining independence in 1957 hangs near others of Britain's Queen Elizabeth and American President Richard Nixon. We live in the world, a dynamic world, and we must be conversant about you know, the entire history, the entire spectrum of history, what happened in the past. If you know what happened in the past, then you will appreciate the present, and then you'll be able to predict the future. Today, the faces of local families, as well as famous musicians, politicians, and patrons, adorn the studio's walls. We also feel very, very much happy that uh, our name has gone so far. And I think uh, that is not the end. What began as a mission to digitize the archive has since become a full-time job, one she hopes to pass on to the next generation when the time comes.